Uh, when I first started painting these paintings, um, I didn't know, I didn't, I, I wasn't trying to say anything. I'm st still, in fact, with, with these paintings, there's very little what you'd call intentionality behind them. Um, I'm, I wasn't trying to say anything in particular, and there's no sort of hidden meanings. So really all of the paintings that you see here um, were done based on my feeling when I saw the original photograph, because they're all taken from photographs. And uh, I would fall in love with the photograph instantly. In fact, that's how it all started, is uh, by accident. I saw an image on the internet when I was looking for something else. And uh, I just thought it was so beautiful that I wanted to keep it. I wanted to have it. Um, it somehow felt like it was just perfect for me. So I slid it across onto my desktop. And of course, it was a car accident. So I thought, well, why, what's that all about? Um, but then I was sort of like uh, very excited about, about these types of images, so I started searching for car crash images. And it took a while because I was painting something completely different at the time until I finally painted one of them because just the idea of just painting from a photograph and not really changing it much and, uh, was, it seemed like it was against the rules in a way, you know? Um, I even hid them the first two or three that I did. I was painting in, a, in the house of uh, another painter and I didn't show him at all because I didn't think he would, I didn't know what, what he would think or what anyone would think. And I really like that, that feeling of privacy uh, of painting. It's like, it's like not being on camera. And you know, when you're on camera, you're trying to act like you're on camera. And uh, so the first time that I got an inkling that these had something to do with me um, and maybe my personal background or history or whatever, because it was still really a mystery, was um, when somebody saw the very first one and they noticed that it was a rural location for the car accident. And they mentioned that it was rural and how that was interesting. So I guess maybe they'd seen car accidents or something done in a more of an urban setting before. And I just thought, oh wow, because I grew up in a rural area. So I thought maybe that's, boy, maybe these, that's why I love them so much. So that's how they ended up being called rural disasters. Um, but even when I started to figure out more and more what they might mean to me, I didn't ever try and plan ahead or come up with any kind of hidden meaning or message. Um, and yet there have been tons of interpretations uh, that people have come up with since they've seen them. Um, so I'm really just responding to what I see as the beauty in the original photograph, even though they're or of things that might not be normally considered beautiful. And it's been great to have them here at Winchester because um, the comments that I get from people have kind of realized they're different than I thought they were. Um, I kind of, people ask, oh, why do you paint car crashes? And I, I, you know, I realized that was gonna be a big question that people would have. And of course my simple answer is I, is that they're just so beautiful to me that I have to paint them. Um, but I realized they're not really very, um, I'm not actually painting the car crash itself, I'm not painting the sort of gory details or the sort of like the powerful smash or anything. And that they're actually quite peaceful, kind of the aftermath of the, of the accident or whatever. And there's rarely any people in them. And if they are, they're just sort of uh, maybe lights in the background from the emergency workers, the reflections of the flash. Um, so there's, it, um, so maybe that's, I may be drawn to those ones because there's thousands of images on the internet of, uh, on fire departments of these images and they're taken for evidence or whatever. They're not trying to be a photograph. I, you know, I'd never take a, a photographer's version of a, of a crash and do a painting of it because it would seem silly. Most of these are sort of accidentally interesting. They're taken for, uh, um, what do you call it, documentary photographs for evidence for their, their investigation or records for, or whatever it kind of calls, you know. But of course, when you've got the nighttime, you've got the flash of the camera and they're happening in some of these rural areas. Eventually you're gonna have an accidentally gorgeous photograph. And those are the ones I find. And I actually feel like I have to paint them because they're just gonna get deleted off the internet someday. I'm sure they don't print them out or, you know, the, nobody wants them really except you know, once they're done with their, they've served their purpose. Um, 
And someday, if I stop painting them, I might have thought I could publish a book, or actually I'll just publish the photographs themselves, because some of them are so beautiful. So of course I change things from the photograph in the paintings, even though there's that original um, sort of surge of emotion or whatever, of joy even that I get when I find the original image. Um, there's a real balance I try and keep between what that original look is of the photograph. Um, so there's a photographic feel to the, to the painting some, sometimes, some more than others. But I try and balance my love for the original photograph with my love of painting, of oil painting, and just that sort of, you know, I did a few years of sort of juicy abstract paintings, lots of oily and thick, and oh, I've done a, a few different things in the past. So um, I love painting itself, so I'm definitely not a photorealist, and yet um, I actually consciously now try and make sure I reference photographs in some of them. So for instance, there's a date stamp in the long, tall one, uh, the one that was on the invitation. And that was in the original photograph, and I'm sure that's part of what I loved about it, was the red uh, date stamp at the bottom. And there was the green grass. And, um, and then there's spots on the lens sometimes from the rain, or the way that the flash will light up the bushes or the license plates, and they'll just be blanked out, they'll be white. So I'm not ever trying to pretend I was there at the accident. I really, it's almost like they're paintings of photographs instead of paintings of accidents. Because that's what I saw, was, was the image on the screen and painted it. Um, and so I guess the question of why it's beautiful is the big one for me, why I find them beautiful. And that's sort of taken a few years to start to figure out. And, it's still a bit of a mystery because each one is different and I, you know, there's personal things in my past that lead me to believe that I would somehow have a connection to the images. Personal tragedies in my past or even witnessing things as a kid, you know, coming across a car accident and, uh, on this sort of lonely highway where I grew up in, up in northern Vancouver Island. Um, so, uh, it's still a bit of a mystery why they're beautiful, but um, I'm learning more as people comment on them, which is great, you know, that they are quite peaceful, some of them. And uh, maybe it's not so strange that I find them beautiful after all.